Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Japan, I'm going to be talking to you about what I'll miss about living in America when I move back to Japan. Coming up. All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to a brand new episode of Andy Talks Japan. In today's episode, guys, I'm going to be talking to you about what I'll be missing from my life here in America once I move back to Tokyo, Japan at the end of the year, 2019. Woo. So, as always, let's just jump right into it. And typically when you talk to a lot of expats about things they miss from their home country, they talk about the four Fs. And we're gonna be going over those today. The first F is family. Um, I currently live with my brother and his wife. I'm definitely gonna be missing them when I move back to Japan. And also my family back in Ohio and Michigan We've been missing them a lot as well. But thanks to uh, technology that's come up in the past decade or so, uh, it's pretty easy to keep in touch. So when I was out in Japan the first time around, I was actually in contact with my family a lot more than I am now, if I'm gonna be honest here. So I always call my mom every Sunday that I could just to talk with her, let her know how my week was, see what was going on with her, stuff like that. So it's definitely something I'm gonna be doing more of once I get myself back out to Japan, so. Hi, mom. <laughs> you know, it's stuff like Skype and Facebook Messenger and FaceTime and all this other stuff definitely brings us a lot closer together, no matter where we are in the world. Despite that, there ain't nothing like the real thing, so definitely gonna be missing my family in real life. Then the second F we're gonna be talking about is friends. So I'm gonna be 34 next month, and as I've gotten older, uh, my friend circle has widened, or spread out, rather. Um, I don't really have as many close friends as I used to, and the ones that I am close with, they're a lot farther away from me than they were before. So just like with family, I'm still able to keep in contact with them thanks to technology and stuff like that. So even though they're much further away from me physically, they're still around, and I can still keep in touch with them and see what they're up to in their lives their wives and kids and jobs and houses and all that kind of stableness that comes with being in your 30s. And then the third F I'm gonna miss is food. So as you know, America is plentiful with different types of food. And even though in Japan, there are uh, no slouches when it comes to food, uh, as far as the variety of different foods, uh, your mileage may vary depending on where in Japan you are. Now being in Tokyo, it's a very cosmopolitan city, so there's foods from all different sections of the world, so there's gonna be no shortage of food there. But as far as region-exclusive stuff, and just kind of stuff that I grew up with, which we'll get to later, there's not really a lot of places where I can uh, get my fix, as far as that goes. And also just the uh, convenience of food as well. You know, like, since most places here in America have an oven, like a proper oven, it's hard to get like a frozen pizza, throw it in, wait 20 minutes, and bam, it's like delivery, <laughs> basically. But you don't have to pay like 40 bucks for a basic medium pizza, <laughs> just saying. And also a lot of foods that are considered domestic here are considered foreign over there, so you'll be paying for that uh, foreignness, basically. So just, uh, just keep that in mind. And then the fourth and final F we're gonna be talking about here in this video is familiarity. So I touched upon that in the previous F. Yeah, it's really hard to get that familiarity in Japan versus here in America, where you can just kind of walk around and it's like you don't have to worry about translating stuff in your head, and, you know, if you speak English, you can just kind of go about your business and just be an ordinary person, you know? One of the things that I noticed the most about living in Japan was just my Americanness, I guess, and just the fact that I am an American. It's not really something I think about being in America where I just feel like I'm just an ordinary dude. When you uh, live abroad, you definitely are more aware of your nationality than you were when you were in your home country. And uh, that can be good and bad. You know, you feel like you're kind of a good ambassador. That's what I always try to portray myself as and put myself out there as, you know. And it's something that, you know, when I was out there the first time being in the Navy, that's something they always tell us, you know, always be a good ambassador to America and to the military and stuff like that. And that's something I felt like I really succeeded at uh, when I was over there last time and something I want to continue doing. But that being said, can't beat the, uh, the familiarity of 
living in America, even if it's in a different state. Since coming back to America, I've lived in three different states. I've lived in Ohio, lived in Michigan, and now I live here in North Carolina until I moved back to Japan. Even with all those changes in scenery, there's still the overall familiarity of America. And there's a lot of little differences here and there, but uh, as far as the general rules of the road, it's about the same, really. So yeah, those are gonna be the four things I miss about living in America while I'm gonna be out living in Tokyo, Japan. So question of the day, if you've lived abroad or are currently living abroad, what are some things that you miss about your home country? Let me know in the comments down below, in the boopity boops. And with that said, guys, this is Andy San. Signed for now, and as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.